Hello, EOS Nation, and welcome to episode 29 of the EOS Hot Sauce. I'm your host, Daniel Keyes, and we've got another spicy one for you this week. In this week's episode, EOS Network CPU Update, EOS Number 1 on Blocktivity, Graymass's Anchor Wallet, Wax Inspector General, DAP Network Hackathon, Crypto Legends in Emanate, Nudex OTC, Bounty Block, and Everipedia and Brave. EOS Hot Sauce is available in every format. You can watch on YouTube, listen on SoundCloud, listen on Apple Podcasts or your podcast player of choice, and subscribe to the EOS Nation newsletter at eosnation.io. Up first, EOS Network CPU Update. In recent days, users of the EOS Public Network have experienced what it is like to only be able to transact according to the network resources they own. Previously, while the network had a lot of unused capacity, users transacting on the network were able to utilize up to a thousand times more resources than they owned. Since the start of the CPU-intensive EIDOS airdrop mining, users can only access the resources they own due to the large number of users using CPU, either theirs or provided by wallets, to mine the EIDOS airdrop. This increased CPU usage led many token holders and dApps to rent additional CPU from Rex, and, for the first time in EOS history, the network saw the entire 80 million or so EOS supply get scooped up by borrowers. This means that no new Rex loans are available on the network until more EOS becomes available, either through new EOS deposits or the 30-day Rex rental loans expire. The fact that users can only utilize the resources they own while simultaneously no longer being able to rent more from Rex was an unexpected combination that has led some dApps and users to experience CPU shortages. The situation generated a lot of discussion across Twitter, Telegram, and WeChat, and breaking it all down would be too long for this publication. Instead, we strongly urge our readers to watch the latest episode of EOS Radio Live, which features a very educational conversation between EOS Nation CEO Yves LaRose, EOS Nation CTO Denny Carrier, CPU Emergencies Cheney Moore, EOS Radio's Zane Wetner, and Token Yield's Ash Oro. Topics covered in this EOS Radio Live episode include how CPU works and how the congestion is happening, off-chain versus on-chain solutions for CPU and other functions, effects of CPU multiplier, transactions performance and block one's tokens, potential impacts of voice, 20% reserve and limitations in Rex, and tips for better resource planning for dApps and users. You can find a link to that episode at the bottom of the article on our website. Up next, EOS returns to the number one rank on Blocktivity. Last week, many members of the EOS community pointed out that Blocktivity.info, a popular site that compares blockchain activity across many networks, was no longer including EOS in its listing. The data provider that Blocktivity previously pulled its EOS statistics from stopped working, and our community looked on in horror as we saw Tron occupying the top spot on Blocktivity's rankings. The community was loud and clear. EOS needs to return to the top of Blocktivity charts as the most used public blockchain on the planet. EOS Nation CTO Denny Carrier was quick to react and started working towards a new data solution for Blocktivity. EOS Nation is proud to have built an open source solution for Blocktivity statistics that includes, on the server side off-chain, it calculates actions and counts transactions. On the smart contract side off-chain, it provides hourly, daily, and weekly statistics. We're happy to announce that we've deployed our solution and EOS has regained its rightful place on top of the Blocktivity throne. Some users were quick to notice that the current record of operations for EOS is now smaller than what it was before the Blocktivity outage. Why is that? The reason is that in the previous solution, the actions and operations that were being counted had many duplicates. For every one transfer, three actions were counted due to notifiers. An EOS transfer alerts three accounts, sender, receiver, and contract, EOSIO.token. The previous statistics included those as actions, which wasn't an accurate way to count them in our opinion. The way we now count actions is with data pulled directly from the action traces of each transaction inside of each block. Our guess is that previous stats included three to four times more no actions that were getting counted as real actions. Our new open source solution allows anyone to inspect our methodology, replicate the solution, and verify our results if they'd like to. We also plan on deploying this solution on every EOSIO compatible blockchain to allow more transparent and comparable statistics across chains. Stay tuned! You can find links to blocktivity.info, our EOSIO stats, 
and EOS Nation's open source solution at the bottom of the article on our website. Up next, Graymass's Anchor Wallet. Since the genesis of our blockchain, Graymass has consistently provided low latency access and all the endpoints needed to anyone and everyone. Developers building on top of the chain know they have a reliable place to access data, both for themselves and their users. Graymass also continues to offer v1 history, as all of the libraries, software, wallets, and nearly everything up until this point was written to support it. Graymass is a key player in the ecosystem, and we're happy to feature these pioneers in this week's EOS Hot Sauce. Hats off to them. Their latest ecosystem contribution is the new Anchor Wallet that's now available for testing. This rebranded and redesigned version of the EOS Voter is a standalone application that represents the combined efforts of the Graymass team over the last year and a half. Show your support for Graymass by downloading and testing the release candidate for Anchor. You can find a link to that at the bottom of the article on our website. Up next, Wax Inspector General. There are a lot of moving parts that make up the Wax ecosystem, and this week we're taking a closer look at the Wax Office of the Inspector General, or OIG. The OIG is created as a neutral third-party rule designed to evaluate the Wax Guild candidates' contributions to the ecosystem. It consists of three members and features ZenBlocks.io as the first chair. The OIG will begin contacting Wax Guild candidates on November 7th in order to issue its first report on November 18th, which we look forward to reading. The Wax On series continues to deliver educational videos with high production value. The sentiment in the video about what Zuckerberg should have told Congress about Libra is certainly held by many members of the blockchain community and sheds some light on stablecoins. The latest Wax On video is great to share with people who question the usefulness of blockchain technology. It describes five powerful use cases such as non-fiat coins, storage place for your identity, supply chain, tokenization of real-world assets, and consumer entertainment or video games. You can find a link to that and everything else we mentioned at the bottom of the article on our website. Up next, DAP Network Hackathon, November 17th to 24. Registration is officially open for the DAP Network Hackathon. Register your team or use the Hackathon platform to find passionate teammates to work with during the week-long event from November 17th to 24th. With a $50,000 prize pool up for grabs, this event will surely attract the attention of some talented teams and developers. Running the event in a hybrid fashion will allow participants to join either online or live in Tel Aviv. Experienced developers can also choose to participate as a mentor and potentially win the prize for Best Mentor. We're very excited to see what kind of innovation will come from such an event, especially when considering the new features that have recently been activated on the DAP network. The release of LiquidX means that DAP network services can now be made available to developers building on sister chains without having to introduce any additional tokens or infrastructure. The team at Liquid EOS has also announced that they are unregistering as a block producer on the EOS public network in order to focus their efforts solely on building the DAP network ecosystem through their development technology company Liquid Apps. Thank you Liquid EOS for all the contributions you did for the EOS public network, and we look forward to further developments in the DAP network. Up next, ecosystem updates. Crypto Legends and Emanate Theme Song Contest. Emanate, an ambitious music platform built on EOS, launched a fun competition with Crypto Legends and Token Pocket. The goal is to produce a theme song in Korean, Chinese, or English for the upcoming Crypto Legends game and the winners will be awarded 5,000 EMT each. The contest has already started and will run until November 11th. Winners will be announced on November 13th on Token Pocket's Twitter account. New Dex launches OTC platform. Gateways for fiat currencies to move in and out of crypto assets are in demand. Due to recent developments in the regulations for crypto assets, such services are becoming more and more available for interested users. New Dex launched its own OTC service on October 29th. It's a decentralized, over-the-counter trading platform that provides fast, convenient, and secure fiat trading where users can trade EOS or EOS-based USDT for fiat via Alipay, WeChat, or a bank card. No, registration currently requires a Chinese phone number. Bounty Block The Bounty Block team works hard on its gamification platform and is regularly adding new features. Their latest update includes activity tracking on Mixer, one of the fastest growing live streaming platforms for video games, daily challenges, allowing apps to create challenges that reset every day at 12 o'clock UTC, and users can now obtain Twitter metrics such as measuring the impact of a retweet. 
Bounty Block is becoming a powerful tool for users to connect to their customers while leveraging all the benefits of the EOS blockchain. You can find more at the links and the article on our website. Free CPU on Prospectors The Prospectors game has been a great success, and the team is taking good care of their users by making sure their players aren't affected by the recent congestion of the network. Thanks to one of the new features of EOS IO 1.8, the cost for transactions within the game can be billed to the DAP smart contract, and the team just announced that they'll now be covering these costs for their many daily users. Everipedia partners with Brave Browser. The Brave Browser quickly became popular in the wider cryptoverse, and it's been a pleasant surprise to learn about their newly forged partnership with the Everipedia team. Both of the projects came to an agreement to boost both brands among their respective communities as a first step towards a deeper collaboration. Since their common goal is to provide fair incentives for content producers, this partnership makes a lot of sense and there are many opportunities to create synergies. It's great to see a project powered by an Ethereum token collaborating with an EOS-based project. New to Brave Browser? MaxDAP published a tutorial that we've linked in the article at the bottom of our website. And that's all for this week's episode of EOS Hot Sauce. EOS Nation is a top block producer on the EOS public network. We earn inflation rewards based on the percentage of tokens staked towards us. Those rewards are reinvested into EOSIO community, tools, and infrastructure. Help grow the ecosystem by staking your vote to EOS Nation FTW for BP or proxying to Proxy for Nation. Once again, I'm your host, Daniel Keyes, and we'll see you again next week. Until then, let's keep it spicy.